my family, now something so fascinating happened today. Now my family, as you all know, today, Harry and Meghan will be in Cali. That's where Harry and Meghan will be. They will be in Cali. And my family, here's why Harry and Meghan will be in Cali. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, will today be in Cali. And the day will begin at the El Valado Sports Center, located in the east of Cali, where Harry and Meghan will meet with leaders of a local foundation that works in the development of vulnerable communities. Afterwards, Prince Harry and Meghan will move to the Enrique Buenaventura Municipal Theatre, a cultural symbol of the city where they will enjoy a series of presentations that reflect the cultural witness of the valley. And the visit will conclude with Harry and Meghan's attendance at the Petronio Alvarez Pacific Music Festival, where Harry and Meghan will enjoy the food and the music of the Colombian Pacific. However, before all that happens, my family, and I believe this will happen in only just a short, short while from now. There is someone who goes by the name Iris Amador. There is a woman who goes by the name Iris Amador. Now, my family, Iris posted a picture, a never before seen picture of Megan. Back when Megan was still at Northwestern University. And let me tell you what Iris posted, my family, as her comment in response to the picture that we have never ever seen before. Here's what my family Iris, you know, said that my family I would like to read to all of you. She posted in a quote that the Duke of Sussex and the Duchess of Sussex visit Colombia, including Cali, the world's salsa capital. Music and dance that Meghan Markle loves, with whom we shared salsa classes at the university. And my family, she then said, and I quote, salsa lessons with the then future to be Duchess of Sussex in college. Hashtag Harry Meghan. Hashtag Meghan Markle. Hashtag salsa lessons. Hashtag Northwestern University many years ago. And my family, this picture has just gone viral on X formerly called Twitter. I even posted this picture on my own Instagram account. My family, this picture has now gone viral. And my family, we have never ever seen this picture before. And my family, it's so amazing how people who met Megan and knew Megan from back in university are still speaking so fondly about Megan. It's just amazing. It's amazing and I'm loving everything that I'm seeing. It's just amazing. And my family, I love 100% everything that we are seeing. Remember, as I always say, one of the reasons as to why this smear campaign against Megan 
is a failure, has been a failure, is because of Megan's past. Her past achievements. My family, before she met and married Prince Harry. That is one of the many reasons as to why this smear campaign against Megan has been a complete and utter failure. Remember what Harry said. Harry said that uh, when Wikimedia were trying to cast Megan into a role in the never ending you know, creation of drama in the royal family, Wikimedia were lying about Megan, about who she was, about what she did. And when they lied about Megan, people who knew Megan came out and said, no, you are lying. That is not the Megan we know. You know, Megan has always been a good person. When the royal family, when William and Charles lied that Megan was a bully, Suits cast members who worked with Megan came out and said, you are lying. We have known Megan for close to 10 years now. Megan has never ever been a bully. She's always been a good person. In my family, and now we find out that Megan also knows my family salsa. Wow. Wow. Is there nothing that Megan does not know? Because clearly, my family, Megan knows everything. Megan knows everything. And my family, it is so nice to see that my family, you know, that Megan at Northwestern University practically did and tried everything, my family. Dancing. And my family also, we all know that Megan was very, very good. My family in high education. And my family, it is so nice that you have people who remember my family, you know, basically Megan from Northwestern University. And there are people who speak fondly about Megan. There are people who say positive, kind things about Megan because Megan has always been a kind-hearted human being. Now, my family, in response, this new picture of Megan, that my family has just come out. I want to read you some comments also from members of the squad online in response to this picture posted by Iris Amador. Now, my family, someone said in a quote, so beautiful. Thank you for sharing this photo and the background story. Megan took salsa classes. Wow! I can't wait to see both Harry and Megan in Cali. Me too, me too. Oh, my Princess Megan, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this photo of Megan. Megan looks stunning as always. Wow! Thank you for sharing. Megan, this is so cool. Thanks for sharing. Wow! That's so cool. Thank you for sharing this photo of Megan. My family, I also remember that there's a photo of uh, Diana wearing a sweater written Northwestern University. It's like fate was saying that my family, you know, Harry Megan were always destined to meet. You know, Harry and Megan were always destined to meet. And now my family, Harry and Megan live in you know, Montecito, California. In my family, Montecito. And with their two kids. My family's like, uh, it was destiny. Remember, we did hear that Diana did indeed want to go elsewhere and move elsewhere from the UK. She even thought of moving to America. However, she could not. Why? Because she had two kids. But now Prince Harry is the person, is the son, who my family has decided to break the cycle of suffering passed on from generation to generation. He decided that it ends with him. And my family, when you're someone who is a cycle breaker, when you're someone who breaks trauma that has been passed on from you know, generation to generation, you will face pushback. 
like what Harry and Meghan have faced. Even right now, as you can see, UK media are always trying to look for excuses to try and drag Harry back to the UK. Back to a place whereby he has suffered. Back to a place whereby the mother of his kids has been put through hell by the UK media and sadly also by senior members of the royal family like Charles, William, Kate and Camilla. In my family, Harry has said, I suffered, I won't allow my kids to suffer. He has said it ends with him. That's a kind of trauma, suffering ends with him. You know, and wonder even, Harry will not give UK media any access to his kids. Harry will not do to his kids, Archie, a little bit what his father, Charles, did to him. As you all know, Charles, you know, basically granted UK media access to William and Prince Harry. In exchange, Charles got good press for himself and also for Camilla Parker Bowles. And, and that's why I've always said this about Charles. Charles is someone who only cares about Harry if he can use Prince Harry. If he can't use Harry, then you'll see his true colors. Whenever you see UK media saying that, you know, Charles wants to see Archie and Lilibet, Charles just wants to do the same thing to Archie and Lilibet that he did to Prince Harry. It's on Prince Harry not to allow that to happen to his kids. And my family, Prince Harry, will never ever allow his kids to go through what he went through. He won't allow Charles to feed his kids to the racist British tabloid media. And my family, Harry and Meghan truly were destined to meet up. And I'm thankful to everyone who ever knew Meghan before Prince Harry for my family Speaking the truth about Megan, about who she's always been, an amazing, talented, remarkable human being. And no wonder, senior members of the royal family felt threatened when they saw Prince Harry bringing home someone as talented, as accomplished as my family, Megan, clearly was. You know? My family, Prince William himself, when he found out that Prince Harry was dating Meghan, he got extremely jealous. You know, my family, think about this. You know, Meghan is someone who accomplished many things before she met Prince Harry. Meghan, a self-made millionaire before marriage. You know, that's Meghan, a self made millionaire before marrying Prince Harry. A successful actress before marrying Prince Harry. She had her own home, her own place. My family, she was featured in different movies. And my family also in Suits, which has now broken so many records and, and has become extremely successful in my family. To the point that apparently... Now, a reboot is being filmed. Megan has accomplished and achieved so much. She has achieved much. And that's who Prince Harry brought, you know, home in the UK. And William was the first one who was trying to destroy Harry and Meghan's relationship. Why? Because he was jealous. He is someone who was watching Suits. He's someone who loved watching suits. Now imagine how he felt when he saw that Prince Harry had pulled Meghan. Someone who's accomplished. Someone who's already successful in her own right. Yet he was married to Kim Moulton, whose only achievement was chasing after Prince William, even changing universities, causes, just to try and my family get close to Prince William, just to try and get that ring. That's her only achievement. She got the ring, my family. Her only achievement. Of course, William felt jealous and my family intimidated. Especially when he saw that when Harry and Meghan got married, the star power went through the roof. He was jealous. And he sought to destroy Meghan because of jealousy. And so did Kay Moulton. 
when you read Spare, you learn that it's like William and Kate were always trying to pick a fight with Harry and Meghan. Why is that? Because of jealousy. Because of jealousy. You know? And my family, eventually, their bullying and the abuse of Harry and Meghan made them flee the UK. And now, outside of the institution, Harry and Meghan are clearly flourishing. People love and admire Harry and Meghan. My family, if the smear campaign had been a success, do you think that people like Iris, who my family have just released this never before seen picture of Meghan, do you think they would post a picture of themselves with Meghan? No, they would not. If the smear campaign had been a success, do you think that the vice president of Colombia Francia Marquez would have invited Harry and Meghan to Colombia? The answer is no. But the fact is, the smear campaign has failed. But Tukey Media and the farm are trying to keep it alive. To keep the smear campaign against Meghan, you know, to keep on, you know, continuing. And my family, what they don't realize is that the more they go after Harry and Meghan, the more Harry and Meghan keep on thriving. And the more they, William, Charles, Kate, and Camilla, continue to look bad in the eyes of the public. That's what William and Charles and Kate and Camilla fail to realize. My family, you know, I love that people who met Megan are so happy to speak about my family, you know, the experience meeting Megan. I, I love that, you know, my family 100%. I love that 100%. And uh, may God bless Harry and Meghan 100%. May God bless Harry and Meghan and I wish them all the best in the world. My family, Meghan has so many talents and Prince Harry is a lucky man and Meghan also a lucky woman for being my family with Prince Harry. And Harry a lucky man for being with Meghan. A woman of many, many talents. Someone who's accomplished so so much my family also so so much you know and my family also we are learning we can i can now see actually that uh you know that prince harry and megan as i'm making this video that harry and megan have arrived at the teatro municipal de cali in the company of vice president francia marquez to participate in the afro women and power forum an event that brings together 400 female leaders from the Pacific region. Wow. My family, wherever Megan goes to, she's always trying to empower women. And no wonder she and Prince Harry keep on being blessed. And my family, Megan is an amazing woman. Megan is an amazing woman. So thank you, Iris, for this picture of Megan. Thank you so much. We love this picture of her. She's a woman of many, many talents. And uh, Megan, keep on thriving and keep on living your best life ever. Keep on thriving and keep on living your best life ever. Just know you are loved. We love you, support you, and Prince Harry, always and forever. My family, I believe that I have said enough. You tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discussed, my family. I want to hear your opinion. May God bless you all and stay tuned to our next video. And may no Weapon from against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lilibet, Diana, Eva, Prosper, my family. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. 
and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.